Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode on Learn React. In this episode, we'll take a look at how we can create a simple review application which displays questions to be answered by a user. We will be using the model that we saw in a previous episode and instead of the message, we'll just simply display the questions to the user. You can think of this uh, as something like Yelp reviews where we are reviewing a particular place and asking questions to the user. To start with, I've set up the initial state over here, uh, wherein I have set of questions, current question which keeps track of which question we are currently on for display, and the name of the place. Let's start by changing the title over here. Instead of saying modal title, let's display the name of this place. And instead of this, we'll start displaying the questions. This will be an index. So we'll refer to the question from the from our questions based on the current question value. So if you see, uh, we have started displaying the question over here and the title is changed. Here we have two buttons, close and save changes. Uh, in our initial iteration, what I would like to do is when a user says next question, our model should, should go on and just display the next question. So let's change this to next question. Here we'll add a simple on click event which helps us proceed to the next question. Uh, what we need to do is simply set the state of this component and increment the question, current question. Our questions will remain the same. While the place name also is the same. So if you see, if I do next question, it will loop through all the questions. Now the problem is when it reaches the final question, I want to just say thank you for reviewing this place instead of displaying this blank value over here. So what I'll do is I'll simply add thanks for reviewing to the end of questions. I don't want to implement any complex logic. And what we'll do is we'll return a pointer, which will let us know if we have reached the reached the last question. This will be returning whether the current question is greater than the size of questions. Now the next thing that I want to do is extract these buttons out so that when I reach the 
final state of displaying the something broke sorry so what I was saying was uh, I would like to extract these buttons so that when we reach to the final question I don't want to display the next question so what I'll do is simply extract these buttons from here and create a new component called as action buttons will have a single render method which will return our buttons in react render needs to return a single top level component HTML element so I need to wrap these two buttons into a single div clean this up so we now have our action buttons which are defined over here which we can embed in our action as a component over here now we have defined next question over here but since the question is defined over here we'll pass next question as a property which will be used in our another component and instead of this dot next question it will say drops dot next question and everything is functional as before now what I want to do is when uh, we are on the last question which is reached last question I want to just return a single button from over here so I'll pass in this method over here uh, let's let's just pass the value and this property will be can be used from within render so if we have reached the last question we'll be simply returning We'll simply return close else we'll return both the buttons so if we now take a look we can see that when we reach the final uh, prop uh, string to display we are simply displaying the close button over here that's it for this episode thank you for watching